as I often say, you guys, delays, delays, nothing but delays today. But I'm here now. Just gonna give these a shake. I just mixed these. Um, these are my new bottles. I don't think anyone's here yet, but I'll show off my new bottles anyway. This one, I wasn't sure I could tell what it was because it's dark. So I, that one, I, I wrote on there that that's indigo. But I quite like these. These are snazzy, Dean, huh? I still have some of the old paints left, so we'll use those up before we switch them to new bottles. Let's see, this one, that's the white. I want that over there. Oh, do I want the lime green, you say? Why? Oh, hey, Firebird. I'm sorry I'm so late. I've been trying to get out here all day. I forgot today was my grocery store day. And you know what an ordeal the grocery store is nowadays. It's not, you know, it's not just like the old days where you go to the store and come back. Oh, no. All sorts of stuff. But I got my canvas prepared. And um, we could probably come in just a tiny bit closer on that. We try just a little bit. Get to move that. Let's see. Which way is it going? It's too much that way and not enough that way. Right? Yeah. Trouble is, it starts hitting my laptop on this thing. Let me see if that's better. It's a little better, huh? A little bit there. Okay. And these are my new bottles, and I've mixed up some paint in them. This one was really, really dark, so I wrote indigo on it, so I know. I was just debating what I wanted to do. I wanted to do another one of those trees. Really like those trees. But I was wondering how I wanted to approach it. If we wanted to do it like the swipe again, or if we wanted to do something different. I think I'll put a bunch of dark colors down and then maybe swipe a bit of other colors and then do the, the tree. <laughs> How's that? How's that sound for just a, eh, let's just throw everything together and see what happens sort of thing. So we'll get some black going here. I found the swiping, I seem to waste a lot less paint. I'm going to come all the way to the edges here on this thing. Well, not all the way, but close to the edges. And then, um, which I think I might just... I'm going to do a lot of the dark colors. Now, this will be interesting. You can see what kind of control we have with this out of curiosity. Yeah, you do get a little better control. Boy, you can't tell much difference between the, oh, between the indigo and the black, can you? I got these. These are a good deal, though. I got these on Amazon. It was uh, $8 for a set of 20 of these. You know, I have never seen Grease. Were you watching the, the, the old one with Olivia Neutron? <laughs> I saw one comedian call her Olivia Neutron Bomb, and it's always stuck in my head. But with Olivia Neutron Bomb and uh, John Travolta, that one. Oh, that's all the dark colors, I think. <laughs> I've I've never seen it. I'll you know, I know it's a it's a classic. It's not like I've never seen any any music. Yeah, so that one with Olivia Newton John and uh, John Travolta. I've seen bits of it, of course. I mean, you know, it's it's so much part of the culture and everything. But I've never seen the actual movie. I've seen a lot of other musicals, and a lot of other ones even. From that time, but not that particular one. Is that a favorite of yours, or was it the first time you'd seen it? <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to try and push these. The edges on these things are always difficult. Oh, you know, too, I should cut some swiping materials before I start this. 
Yeah, we all have those movies that we could just watch over and over again. Movies and shows and that. So I know right now this just looks dark. It's actually got indigo and purple mixed in here. I'm just going to try and smooth it all out though. But yeah, I just couldn't believe. Fortunately, poor paintings, in a sense, a lot of it's the prep work as much as the actual painting time. So uh, we should be able to, to get in there a bit. I'm just going to put that down there. It's better than wasting it, I guess. I watch every year on Halloween, I watch uh, the old Rocky Horror. My, my Halloween tradition. I don't mind the new one either. There's some some things I like better about the new one and um, some things I like better about the old one. Okay, now, now we've done that. Now I got to now I got to think. I still want to see I'm just going to visualize the tree in my mind. I want the tree to be a little like, like the other tree was, a little weird, a little weird like me. <laughs> Maybe a little sun sort of thing there. Maybe a little like that. Yeah, I do like these spouts. These are good. There is, there was one, um, oh gosh, let me think how long ago. Not that long ago. Uh, it has, let me see, uh, Tim Curry is still in it. He has a part at Post Stroke. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of her name. I, I think it's Laverne Cox in the, as, as, uh, Dr. Frankenfurter. But it's, it's quite a nice cast. I, I, I quite like it. I have to say. I know it's probably sacrilege to say it, but I do. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like watching that one when when I can see it. it's it's not on that often. It seems to be almost an exclusive to Hulu, uh, which is annoying. But a lot of times, sometimes I used to get like I'd get like a free trial period of Hulu, and then I'd watch it. But I'm gonna move this off. And I'm gonna before I get started swiping, I'm gonna cut some things, some little uh, swipey things. Okay, let's see if I got some plastic ones. I do. Okay. Oh, here's a nice plastic one. Look at that. I'm going to cut some of this one off. The actor playing Rocky Horror in that one I thought was the weak point. But uh, I liked a lot, lot of it. So if it's still on Hulu, if you can do a free trial, I know you're in another country, but hopefully you can and uh, see it that way. going to take a fortifying sip of something. Why doesn't that look like a mess right now, huh? That doesn't look like it could ever be anything, does it? <laughs> I look at it. But we're going to give it a shot. I want this fairly dark. You're going good because that's what you got. Ooh, there's some nice cells forming now. Oops, didn't mean to traverse back in there. Let's see on the sides here. A little, a little off. Look at those cells popping up. Oh wow, did not expect that. That's so awesome. Let's come back over here. Just have to press that a little bit.
my life there's so much color on here I can use it for something somehow I always end up doing this straight always this is the second one I've done boy I always do that <laughs> but uh I like the way some of this is working now. That is fascinating. I did not expect that to pop up like that, these cells. Whoa, you say. Well, you don't say it, but I'll say it. Whoa. Look at that. I don't want to mess with that. It's so perfect. Let me try and get something in there. Well, let's, boy, I really like, I really like the way this is going. Let's try tilting it a bit, because I have a feeling there's quite a bit of gene on there. And then we'll see about our tree. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you know what I should do first? Is uh, use that heat gun and get rid of any bubbles on there. Let's do that. Good. Yeah, lots of bubbles to come up. Okay. All right. It does. I, I love the way these cells formed here in the green. I, I don't know why. I don't know what I did right. It's frustrating when you don't know what you do wrong and then you don't know what you do right. Like, oh, that works suddenly. Weird. I just wanted to see. If there was enough to tilt this a bit and get some interesting, um, have it be less a little bit just straight lines across. Plus, it, it fills it in a little bit. Did you see the new Rocky Horror, Dave? Have you seen that one? I did, the other thing I, I preferred was uh, the, the Janet, the Janet actress. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a huge Susan Sarandon fan, so I, I kind of appreciated the other one. I thought her vocal range was much better, too, in the, the remake. But, of course, you know, Tim Curry is Frankenfurter. You can't, you can't do much better than that. So uh, they did their best. And there were some things I liked about it, but there's only so far, so far you could go. You know, I might even turn this around and do it the other way than what I thought. This one corner is giving me grief right here. It's a little low on paint. And we'll see if we can fix that a little bit. It wants to join us down here by uh, filling in that canvas a little bit. Boy, that one edge, it just does not want to put paint on there. And then here, too, there's a spot where I think it, it could use just some blending in a little bit better. Well, hopefully that will come, come down there. It just wants to just stop right here. I have to just put some extra paint on there if this keeps going. Yeah, like I said there were things that there were things I liked. I can't say I didn't like any of it, but but yeah, the original had had an energy that's really hard to uh, to match. But um, there again, it, I mean it's the original movie, but it was a stage show, so in a sense, it's fair game for other for other actors in that. But sometimes these things develop almost a, uh, a thing of their own. Okay, let me just try and bring that down there. There's one little spot is just being an, an enormous pain. I'm going to try and bring this down a bit. Actually, that wouldn't be bad to have as the base. I'm not too sure about where we're going with this. But, but you know, like anything, when I'm not sure, I just keep going. That's one, one way of dealing with it when you're unsure, is just uh, pretend like you know what you're doing. I'm trying to get down, there's this one area right near the bottom. So I'm just going to hold it here for a minute. 
you can get down there. If we don't, we'll swipe it with stuff. It's no biggie. I thought I'd give it a minute. It's always kind of nice, too, just to make sure the paint is uh, done as much as it's going to do. Don't see it doing much else. And I think I'll, I'll try and do is just put a little crumb, crumb here right on there. There, that covered it. Um, let's clean my gloves off a bit. I'm not sure this is quite, I might swipe it again. I'm not sure it's, it's, it's a little harsh for what I was thinking I wanted, if that makes sense to you guys. I wanted something a little softer, I think. I was wondering about even just swiping it down rather than across. I'm going to try it a little bit here. See if we can get that paint going a little bit more. I'm going to just do this for consistency. I like that slightly softer aspect, I think. I'm going to try another clean one. I can clean this one off as easy as anything, I guess. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, it's it's really hard to uh, to watch anybody else in that role. So I couldn't agree more. Like I said the the Janet character, absolutely, I'm down with. Um, wasn't a huge fan of the uh, monster in the the remake, but even then, could live with it. Um, I like Meatloaf in that in the role he's in in there, but there again. For the sake of being open minded. Oh, this is softer. I think this is a little better. A little softer. Yeah, it was just too, too, uh, <laughs> it looked like Rocky Horror, this one. <laughs> it's a little too much. Just not soft enough for, for what I want to go for on the tree. Yeah, this is more gentle. I have to get the heat gun out again, though, I'm afraid. It might come to that. I'm going to need to put one maybe more over here. Kind of, kind of got stuck a little bit there, but that's okay. Oops, that one, I lost some of the paint. Let's see. I'm a little bit crowded up here. But let's see what we can do. I'm going to run into anything. Oops. It all, it all ran down the side rather than stay on top of the canvas. That was not what I meant at all. We might have to turn the canvas if this keeps up. Let's try this. Oops. Ran into something again. Okay. Just where the paint's very thin, I'm going to use this side of this to put a little bit more. Wincing at my swiping. <laughs> I know. When my, when my son was little, my dad once said that being with my son was like um, <laughs> watching somebody walk off a cliff. And that's probably is what you guys feel watching me do my my poor painting because it, it's it's like Danny hovers between life and death and, and all the time actually though this is a lot gentler and prettier than than what it was I think I just want to see if it moved a little bit not sure it will if not, that's okay. We'll work with what we have. But like I said, I'm happier with it though. It was just it was just too busy. The tree would have been lost in that. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have said what I wanted to say as an artist. <laughs> uh, all of us can be a little bit whatever it is from time to time, huh? 
I'd like to get this to flow just a, this one edge. I'd like to get it to a, really, you liked it before? I thought it was too busy. I thought it looked like something out of a, of, of a Lovecraft novel. I like the gentler colors for what I want to do with it. For just, if I was leaving it on its own, I should have checked with you though. I mean, I could always could have left this and done another one. But anyway, what I wanted was a more gentle, softer background so I could put the tree in it without, without, the, um, without the tree having to fight with the background. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, I'm sorry if I took off something you liked. Now I feel bad. I just, it just wasn't what I was going for, you know? <laughs> I did lose those cells. That, that part's too bad. I like those. Boy, I must have really evened out the paint, though. It's not moving much at all. We'll give it a minute longer, and then I'm going to start the tree. There's one little side area right there with no, with no paint on it um, that just didn't come over there. I might see if I can... Just dab some on there without being too disruptive, but I'm not sure. Sometimes you can do that, and sometimes you can't. Oop! What did I just do? Nothing. Good. Nothing is good. Let's see if I can just, um, sometimes you can emulate the swipe enough. It's just a little trickier. Not sure about that. that I think it was setting a little more than I thought it was. That's all right. We'll put, we'll put a branch there. Well, it's nice of you to say. Don't know how much that's true, but it's very nice of you to say. But I, ha I had a vision of what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I said we can all be a little bit uppity from time to time, I guess. <laughs> I am no exception to that about our ourselves um let me clean off and then oh no 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 i'm i'm glad to know that um it's interesting that that that, that you felt that way let's just um, get some of these bubbles out of here again no i appreciate it like that time you told me to stop painting on the one thing but stop that this minute it's perfect All right, now, uh, here we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is I wanted to do a white tree on this one. I was obsessed with the idea. So let's do that. That's why I wanted the background dark. And I'm going to try and follow it along in a sense, sort of like what the... Uh, it's almost like a branch there. And then maybe down here, and down here, it might be a little more than what I wanted to do. Now I need those thinner cells. Here we go. seen a lot of people do these trees and they all tend to do them with the trees straight up and down. I don't like to do my trees straight up and down. I like my trees to be funky. I like them twisty and gnarly. I like trees that have seen life, <laughs> seen something of the world. Oh, that's pretty good. This is going a lot uh, smoother uh, than, than what the, the first one did, huh? Maybe not that last line. It got away from me a little bit. But up until then, boy, we were really rocking it. Let's see. That's fine. I like that. I like the way the colors mix and sort of make, make the bark of the tree um, more interesting. This 
one, I still want to do that, I think, a little thicker. But, like, I love those old twisted, like, old twisted pine trees. I think they're so cool. That's what I want. I don't, didn't want anything. I didn't want a straight up and down tree. There's time for a straight up and down tree and time when it is not appropriate. Or what you call those? I mean, straight up and down tree is not really a technical term for it, but hopefully you're warming up to it now, you Mert. That's all I can hope. As we go along here, you warm up to it. Now that blob there, I probably could have done without a little bit. It's a little too blobby in the wrong spot. See what we can do about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I have a specific thing in mind for this, and I didn't want to deviate too much from it. These parts that are too blobby, I'm just going to swipe over and then go back over and create more branches, I think, is what we're going to do. It's actually working really well. I shouldn't jinx it. Well, that's interesting that you can still swipe like that. Who knew? It's going to come in in the middle there a little bit. Look, you can actually make those thinner doing that. Isn't that fascinating? You guys are going, well, no, it's not that interesting. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the, the flow of that tree a lot. You know, where else did I not like what it was doing? Over here, I thought it was a little too much. Let's try and re-swipe that just that little bit. And maybe over here a little bit. Boy, that is something else. Oh, I went the wrong way on that. Well, that's just really interesting, at least to me. That is fascinating. Have a little more smoothed out. I love this marbling there. Yes, I didn't know you could re-swipe like that. That's that's good to know that it's that it's somewhat forgiving. I did not know that. Now I know something new. That's uh, good. That's good that I know that. The thing that's nice about doing the tree. Let me see if I can swipe over here again too, cause just because that doesn't look so good to me. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look better? Sure if you can do it the other way. I'm not sure if that would work. God, that's so fascinating. Look, it's like you're making little clouds or something in here. Try to shoot that over there. Maybe even make it a little stick. it out a little bit. Yeah, we created something interesting there where there was nothing. Yeah, I like this. I like where we're going with this thing. Let me try this for a bit with my little shaper tool. to put a little like a little well of white paint somewhere so I can work with it. You know that worked pretty well. And this too, I wanted to get back up and connect that one that I kind of disconnected by redoing the swipe. 
Try and fix that. And then here I kind of took it back off. Uh, let's see, maybe just there. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, we'll have to be careful with that as we work. Let's see, Sandy, I'm, I'm going to have just a little sip of something. But I like it so far. Now for the white paint, where is that white paint? That's over here. I'm thinking I want to put it somewhere where I can grab it. I think I might put it over in my little my little handy dandy little thing here, so that I can grab it with the different tools and uh, work with it. Oh, I can hear the geese. Gosh, I love it here. I love where I live so much. This one. That should work pretty well. Carries that white pretty pretty well, pretty far. I'm so glad too to hear that the um, that's two people now that have told me that my autoplay is actually working. If one of my artist friends is streaming when I hang up as it were that that comes into play. I'm glad to know that. I set it up but I didn't know how I didn't know if I needed to do more than that, so I'm glad to know it works. It's nice. It's a nice way for us all to uh, kind of help each other out a bit. Um makes my stream more active to have more people on it and hopefully helps out the people that I'm hosting or auto hosting. Yeah, boy, those things really travel, don't they? Let's see, where else did I want? Oh, I wanted something. See, this is where we get into uh, <laughs> form and function, I'm going to say. There's places where I went where the swipe meets that that doesn't look quite great. Um, you can see the seam. So that's a great place to put a branch. actually use an actual swiping tool at this point. I'm not sure. I'm kind of very, very, very thin. I'm going to cut that one even more. Even thinner. I want one as thin as that branch is. Get my scissors. <laughs> well, I know where I put my scissors. Well, you know, I get when I get focused, I just don't, um, I unfocus in every other respect. When I get like I'm really concentrating on something, I just kind of throw everything to one side or the other. It's like, that's what I need right there. Okay, so what I thought was maybe like um, I did that. I'm thinking, no, nah, that kind of just darkened it, didn't it? That didn't do what I wanted it to at all. Let me go back to my stick. It seemed to be working the best. Oh, hey, Dan. Uh, thank you. I'm going to take that as a compliment because I was going for a gnarled tree. 
Yeah, we learned some interesting things about doing these trees um, this time, as far as uh, the way the, the paint works and that. I think we, we made some progress here. I have a little well of white paint here off to the side, so I'm just dunking this and that as I, as I need it. It kind of carries along pretty well there. But yeah, I wanted to try another one of those Tree of Life. Then I used my little, my little new containers. I filled some of those up. Played around with that for a bit. This looks like it needs a lot more branches over on this side, I think. Maybe we'll finish one side, then do the other. I might need the other, uh, like the thinner stick on some of this. And that one, and if I want that that thick, then I need to thicken this one up a bit. The colors really uh, worked in there, though, didn't they? So I was just saying, I'm kind of looking for where, when I swiped it, there's little seams all over here. So I'm uh, kind of looking for where those little seams are and putting in branches. Oh, now that didn't mean to go quite so off to one direction. Let's fix that. And then this one, that's not too bad. I'm surprised these white lines travel as far as they do. I'm pleasantly surprised. I did not expect that. I thought they'd more peter out a little sooner than they do. And I want to come a little bit more down into this other area. Let me do that from this one. Come all the way down there. I wanted to do this one with the light tree and the darker background since we did a dark tree and a slightly lighter background. The last one was pretty dark too. By the way, I do have photos of those new ones and they're on the video parts, but I haven't quite got them online yet in other places like on my website or social media, but I did put them on the, the cover photo for the videos that they correspond to them. I've got some of the new photos done. That stuff just takes so much time. You know, each little step like that. Well, I'll go out and get photos. Well, there's an hour gone, you know. It's the same way when I was doing shows. Um, I got all these, this jewelry done, made. That's on wood and that, but it's one of a kind. Well, when you make something one of a kind, you have to take new photos for each thing. And the photos take longer than making the jewelry does. So I've just got this jewelry in a box. I'm not sure what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with that if I don't go back to selling uh, at shows. I'll have to figure out something to do. On the pendants I was taking the shows, I, I put them up for a Cyber Monday sale. And actually I've got a pretty good response on those. <laughs> Make something cheap enough and people will buy it. It's funny like that. I want one more maybe. Yeah, I like I like our gnarled tree. I like gnarled trees in general. Although in California, we have the, the redwoods. We have some in Oregon, too, and the pine trees, of course. They're, they're both very straight, straight trees, so they have their own, their own charm. But I do like the old gnarled sort of oak tree sort of things. But yeah, I'm liking this one. 
I think I think this is going just the way I wanted it to. And you're going, really? That's that's what you wanted, huh? <laughs> like, yep, this was it. This was what I wanted. It's very seldom that you get a poor painting that's anywhere near what you wanted in your head. Um, it's a very unpredictable medium, so it's always kind of a, a thrill when you go, well, you know, that actually worked out pretty well. Not that they don't work out, they're just different. You have to you have to take them on your own terms, not on not on what you wanted. You have to ask them what they want. It can't be all about you with poor painting. Still have a little bit of a seam here. Let's do an extra one. Can I, can I work that in there? I think so. Let me try it. Oh, I almost got a white paint. I'm going to have to reload. You know, I do love my tree paintings, partially trees. I like these sort of trees. They look almost like a person, don't they? Oh, thank you, Firebird. This area here, we got a little bit off. I'm not sure if I can put in more branches there, but we definitely had some issues. I guess I could put one, maybe put one there. At least when we start losing the white, let me see if I can re put that color back in there. Here, I think I'm going to make this a little bit more modeled, but put it right in there. <laughs> One time I tried holding this up to see how it was going, but you know, it's liquid paint. The paint started. So now I stand back when I want to see how it's going. I don't try and lift it up on this type of paint. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pleased, you guys. I'm going to get some tea while I'm up. Then this one, I was thinking, and it might be time we could do that. I was thinking I might drop, drop some leaves in here and there. Um, If we feel we're done with branches. Not that we can't add more branches after. I'm going to add a couple more branches. There's an area that needs a branch. So I kind of look at where uh, where those little seams are from when I did the, uh, the swipes and add branches in there. Let me get ourselves another drop of white maybe. Yeah, I'm just thrilled to be out here. Like I said, I, I had forgotten that we had no food in the house. So we had to go to the store. And then, you know, then you know how that is. Um, and then I drop, I drop food off for my son. My, my adult son lives in the next town over. But he doesn't have the same stores we do because they're both small towns. And smallish. But anyway, they have different stores. So he has one type of store and I have one type of store. So there's one. So when I go to a particular type of store, I pick him up some stuff, so he doesn't have to drive over to to my town to get it. So anyway, but it all takes time. So I had to to do all that when I realized it was store day. I thought, 
oh no, I'm not going to get to mix my paint. I won't get out to stream. I'm so upset. Life is just too yeah, with too much stuff to do. <laughs> but I did make it out here despite all my complaining. Another one will be met here. Oh, it's out of the party that I meant to. Again, we'd have a great spot for a moon. I, I can't quite. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm going to take that again as a compliment. Thank you. Um, the green is a little bit more prominent than I thought it was going to be. I didn't feel like I put in that much green, but it, it stands out a little bit more than what I thought it was going to. I was thinking I put in copper leaves, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering about turquoise. This area, like I said, right there would be great for a moon, but I, I just had trouble with that with the pour paint because it doesn't uh, blend the same. So I tend to like to do those after if I want to put a moon in somewhere. This, I still, there's something wrong here. I'm going to put in another branch. I'm going to put another branch right, right here in some bizarre fashion. loses some of the white, but I think that's okay. I don't think they all could be pure white on the branches. I'm going to put extra something down here. I think it just didn't look like it. That spout would just look too empty. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of my paintings end up looking gothic. Well, you know, I love ghost stories in that, and I do live, live with a cemetery behind me, so I suppose it's not too, too surprising my paintings end up with a slight gothic twist to them. Remember, I was so surprised. I, I had a neighbor and she moved to Italy, but I was really surprised. She she was like, ew, we have a cemetery. Like it was like it was a drawback. I'm like, yeah, we have a cemetery. Like, how cool is that? She's like, ew, I don't like to go walk in a cemetery, she'd say. I'd be like, I can't relate. What do you mean? That's like the coolest part about the house. I guess we all have our own thing about our, our mortality, you know. Okay. Put a few more in here. I can't have enough uh, little branches in. The real estate agent thought it was a big plus because her argument was, well, you know, then you know nobody's ever going to build behind your house because there's that cemetery there. It's like, yep, sounds good to me. I'll just 
Okay, we're getting there, huh? And of course, we have to put our we have to put our owl in. <laughs> now I have to wear a. Um, you know, mine is half park, half cemetery. So it's got the cemetery on, and then there's a like a little parking area, and then there's the, uh, then we have like a nature, so mine is like half nature preserve, little parking strip, and then half cemetery. So the part right behind my house is the nature area. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I think they, um. I heard my street, it used to face the other way, and then they switched it, they rerouted the street. So I don't know, that's not when they built the cemetery, though, because it's older. So I don't I don't know when that occurred. But anyway, um, but yeah, people do, they, they bring their dogs and they, they picnic and stuff, especially nowadays, because unfortunately, it used to be I could go out there and there's never anybody there but me. But then people discovered like, oh, this is a place where not many people go, you know, over COVID. So now they're... Uh, now people, there's more people there, which I bitterly resent. It's like, oh, I thought, well, I can at least always go walk in a cemetery. Nobody's ever there. And then people discovered it. It's an it's a it's a newer one though. There's one that's um, not too far away that's got older older gravestones. I'm I'm not sure. I'd have to look again when this one was established, but it's a uh, it's not that old. The the grave sites on it. There are some a few older ones in the area, but this is not one of them. Oh, wow. The one I used to visit in Santa Clara was an old historic one. I actually, I had gotten a book about it. Um, I might still have the book. I'm not sure. I, I purged a lot of my books when I moved. Purged a lot of everything when I moved. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> clarify that. I, I, I wasn't quite sure what you meant, so I appreciate that. I understand now what you're saying. That is really filling in the space, isn't it? I like the way it looks almost like a person to me, like an undulating figure, you know? You get what I'm saying, I'm sure. Now let's see here. I was just looking for one of those little sticks. But I did this, I, I scratched my nose one time after I quit streaming. I went and I had paint all over my face. I was glad you guys missed it out. <laughs> like, oh, I'm glad I did that after I shut off the stream. I'm sure I'll do it sometime during it, though. It wouldn't be me if I didn't occasionally do stuff like that. Just looking. Oh, there's so many places where we could put something, you know, um, an owl or something. So many places. First, I was thinking here. That's kind of a logical place to put the owl. 
But then I was thinking, gee, you could have an owl here, you could have one there, you could have one, <laughs> just put owls everywhere in this thing. So, you know, you're right. I can see like the one spot here and one there, but before this whole quadrant was bright, you know, there was only so much I could do to move them. I've got the, um, I've got the track lighting, so there's only so much I could do. Yeah, that's true. If I did crows or ravens, then I could put a lot of them in. With owls, you tend to not have that many. I'm not sure though that I can do those that effectively with the pour paint. That's something I might want to wait till it dries and put them in after. I'm thinking. Yeah, we can do that. We can let it go and then just put the birds in after. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true, right? Um I'm going to instead, I think, I'm going to, I'm going to do, put in some leaves on the tree, but I think I'm going to wait and do birds, whether it's an owl or crows or something. I think I'm going to wait on it. I, I'm not sure enough what I want to do. What I am sure about is that I want to find, where am I at? I broke my stick. Oh, here's one. But there's two. Good. Now we all know that. been looking for any of my little things. Let's do that because I think I, I kind of like the idea of the, the ravens and putting them kind of all over because there's so many places to put things on this tree. But I don't know if doing them in the pour paint would be really a good idea. It's like I said, there's only so much control you have with the pour paint. It's not... Um, it's not really designed for detail work like that. Sometimes the owls and that I can kind of get away with. I could get a basic shape of a raven. I'm pretty pretty confident, but uh, I think I might not want to try and tackle that. I think it might be just a little bit easier to do that after the fact. I like it though. I'm not. I I am. I'm characteristically pleased with this one. Put just a few here and there. First, I was going to do copper for the leaves, and then I thought, you know, I think turquoise for this one. I don't remember if I put turquoise in the painting, but I think turquoise leaves work for me. It looks like turquoise at this point. Need a little bit more paint. Alright, we got plenty of paint. Having enough paint is not an issue. Yeah, I like these little bottles. These are these are a good a good thing, I think. I like I think the size is good. Must be an hour. I set the fan for an hour. I said another half hour. I like to keep the fan, um, the air moving around in here when I've got the pour paint out. It tends to be a bit concentrated, smell wise. And uh, it's all non toxic stuff, but probably in that concentration, it's a good idea to just keep that airflow going. And turn that on another half hour or so. Boy, this is already dry in here along the bottom. It must have been fairly thin there. So, another half hour. I've got a window open in here too. I found if I take this pointed stick and I do a quick little swipe, it tends to be 
fatter on the bottom than taper up, much, much the way a leaf would do. So that works. So my, my hand is not the most steady thing in the world. it a little bit so it doesn't look quite so barren the tree. But this is really a, sta a standy up painting, isn't it? I seem to be I seem able to sit down and do this for some reason on this particular one. Now this, I'm not sure that turquoise will show up that much. It should there. Yeah, I'm glad we made it out here to do this one today. There. It's a little thicker there. If the paint starts drying a little more, it makes it easier to apply these. If the paint's too wet, they just sort of like soak in. <laughs> That's my sound effect. They're soaking in there. Let's grab some of these. Put a few more leaves in there. I so said they don't really show up there. That starts getting a little turquoisey in and of itself. There's not that much contrast.
Yeah, I like it with at least a few leaves on there. There's something that just looks a little too barren to me with no leaves at all. Still maybe want to put a little bit more. Maybe the white. Oh, we still have a little white. If I can get a bit more down here. My stickers are not much to do. Let's put it. Now we've got to make the whole thing kiss it. No, those things happen. I'm not known for it to thicken up quite to that extent. Alright, we'll add more. Sometimes I use those dotting tools, those mandala dotting tools. Sometimes they work better for uh, this really intense material. <laughs> I keep thinking about the tree having a head there. And it already looks like a body to me, so, you know. Hey, look, it developed its own little hollow in the tree. Yeah, I like this. I think I think it's really uh, different. And this one section here, not that not that every single little root has to be perfect in it, but uh, that one it came off a little bit. Let me uh, put a little bit more white paint down. That was a little drier than what I thought it was. So when I went to put new paint on there, it just sort of uh, took the paint off. So let's. Uh, Let's just put that right back in there. That's fine. <laughs> Making it bigger and bigger as I go along. One of those things. Oh, it's all right. I didn't realize quite how dry this section was. It makes a difference. Yeah, not quite what I meant to do there, but you know, it's a root. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a root. But that should be a signal to me that the paint's getting kind of unworkable. So I think I should leave off there. I think I'm going to get to where I might be, uh, I might damage it if I try and do more right now. Let's let that dry. And then tomorrow we'll put the raisins in. And then we uh, we still need to get back to our uh, um, landscape, our autumn landscape, which is coming along nicely, I think. Okay, well this is a little bit shorter one today because I had to spend <laughs> I had to spend a lot of time mixing the paint. Um, that's the thing about pour painting is sometimes the actual painting time is not as long as the prep time. It's a weird thing. Um, it's almost like the planning is is the most important thing. I'm just gonna come around these sides and get where it's dripping so that it's not quite so drippy at the along the bottom edge here. Sometimes it drips along there a little more than what you want it to. That one I can't really see, but I'm going to assume it needs it. Okay, well, I hope you guys have, have had fun. <laughs> I have. Uh, thank you, Firebird. Yeah, and then we'll put some, like I said, we'll put some. Uh, I, I like your ravens idea because I said I can put them all over then. I mean, because I see so many places that could have a have a bird in there. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. We'll come and put some raisins in. But for now I'm going to leave off because the paint, when it starts to set, it you get you get this in-between stuff. I know, right? Now I'm tired of standing up. Um, when the paint's very wet, sometimes you can't work it that well because it's it's too wet and everything just like mushes in. Uh, but then it'll get to a point where it's too dry. And when it's too dry, the paint doesn't, um, it doesn't mix well. It just creates sort of a little crater rather than um, work its way back in. And you can't really mix it in. It'll just keep gooping up. 
So I think we're in danger of getting almost to that point with this, which I had a little bit of trouble here, but like I said, it's just a root, so I don't have to obsess over it. But uh, I think I should leave off there because I don't think I can work the paint. I think it's, it, it's at that bad stage where it's like, eh. The only thing I'm not sure about is this being so light up there. Um, that's where I, I, I should have swiped that over with a darker color. But we're going to work a little bit with it tomorrow anyway, so I could probably just put a very light wash over that and make it a little bit darker. So I think we'll do that. We'll add some birds and anything else we see that needs to be done. But um, yeah, I, I like, you know, I love four painting as a change of pace. I like these trees. I'll probably do more of them because I'm really enjoying them. Um, you know, I love to, to do trees anyway. I thought about a moon um, here, but then I put those that branch in there. But I still may put a moon. Let me put one in an odd location because, you know, I'm me and I do weird things. Maybe like here. In that in that blue quadrant, I did wonder about even though it's way up at the top that that could almost be like where the moon is behind the clouds, with not too much imagination. So anyway, I will get going for today, you guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow I do not have to go to the grocery store, so that will not be taking up most of my day. But um, we recovered and did practically a whole painting with even that little bit of time I had I had today to work. So yay! I'll see you guys all later. Bye bye.